Brave Yoda asks, I'm curious about using GTK with shell scripts. I've used Xenity and Dialog, but would like to see other options, if any. And there are a number of options out there for full-blown glue... Gl full-blown GUIs, as well as simple dialogue programs, which actually do quite a bit. Now, I've done a number of videos on Xenity in the past, but I'll go over uh, a bunch of basic Xenity commands in the next video. Uh, this video is not so much of a tutorial, but more of me talking about certain dialogues and something I want to talk about here. It's going to be a short one. Be sure to check out the annotation in the playlist to the, or in the description to the full playlist, where you can get to the next video, which I'll go over some Xenity commands. Um, but again, Xenity does basic dialogues, and then there's Dialog. And for those of you who aren't familiar, Dialog is a text-based dialog mode. If you've ever done a Debian text-based install, or you're just installing anything where dialogues come up in your shell, usually it's like a blue background, and there'll be you know you can move around. It's still text-based, but it has that gooey feel to it. That's what Dialog is, and I wanted to talk about it for a moment because a couple of years ago there was another program called. X Dialog, which worked identically at, to Dialog, but was an actual GUI interface, not just text-based. And the nice thing about that application was, since it was the commands were interchangeable, whether you typed in the shell X Dialog and then the command for a dialog of some sort, or just Dialog, the command would work the same. So what you could have done back then was write a shell script that detected is the GUI interface running and do they have xDialog installed? If so, use xDialog and start using GUI displays and the rest of your script stays identical because you're using a variable to issue that command. Where it, if it returned false that there is not a GUI running and they don't or they don't have xDialog installed to default back to the text mode of dialog. It was a great little thing but the uh, xDialog uh, I guess the uh, it was a project that was abandoned, hasn't been worked on, and isn't really in the repositories anymore, at least not for current versions of Debian. So I'm assuming most Debian-based systems and other operating systems and distros uh, don't have it in its repositories anymore. But I want to just bring that up in case you ever come across it in older scripts. Uh, Xdialog um, worked very similar to Dialog, very similar, identical to Dialog, uh, at least as far as I could see. And it was very nice to be able to switch between the two depending on what the user's interface was. Now, an example of that would be like this here. So this is a script that I had as an example in my notes. And as you can see right here, I'm checking if the display is available. So if you're running xorg, I should really actually be checking also to make sure xdialog is installed. Now I can't actually show you this because, again, xdialog is not my repositories. And I'm not going to go search down the program someplace else and install it. But this is the basic concept of how it would work. As I said, a lot of programs already use dialog, but if you add this if-then statement at the beginning that sets a variable called dialog, then when you need it to call your program, you just use that variable. And again, if your GUI was running, this would be shown as a GUI displayed dialog, and if not, it'd be a text-based dialog. So the rest of your code, other than this little if-then statement at the beginning, would be interchangeable between the two programs. And it was very nice. It's kind of sad that they abandoned it. They were kind of very simple, uh, ugly dialog boxes, but it was nice to have that option. Still, uh, codes like this would still function, even if I wrote this like this properly where if it checked to make sure xdialog was installed if you don't have xdialog which you wouldn't on most newer systems it would just default to dialog which is still available and widely used uh, in, in many applications. Again, an example would be if you were going to install Debian from a text-based interface uh, installer. Um, also Lots of times if you're doing an upgrade on your system uh, using aptitude or apt-get, you might get some dialog boxes asking to confirm stuff inside your shell. That's most likely dialog that's running. Um, and it's actually libraries that are also used in C, uh, and I guess other programming languages as well, but dialog is an external application using those libraries, so you can call it from within shell scripts. So this is just a quick little talk about that. Um, and you know, in this example, you know, it's asking a question, and then depending on what it returns, the shell would display a different message. So that's what this did. Anyway, uh, so why did I talk about this? Because you might you might be curious about xdialog. Maybe maybe someone will come up with something similar to this in the future. It'd be nice because again, it was just nice that you could do that. It's just a shame that the project uh, is no longer being worked on. 
But I thank you for watching. Be sure to check out the next video in this playlist. This is part of a playlist. Check out the link in the description for the full playlist. And the next video, uh, even though I've gone over in the past, I'm going to quickly go over some very basic Zenity uh, GUI dialogues. And then after that, we're going to go over a number of different GUI uh, options for your shell scripts. So I hope you're enjoying these videos. And I hope that you like, share, subscribe, and comment on this video. I hope that you have a great day.